Today I'm going to be showing you how to mod an iPod, a 5th generation iPod video to look like an iPod Touch. First you're going to want to download iPod Wizard. And the 5th the gener generation or 5.5 5 .5 generation iPod Touch modification. Once you have that done, you're going to want to drag everything. You're going to want to make a folder on your desktop and drag all of the parts from iPod Wizard into that. And then do the same thing for the iPod Touch modification. After that, you're going to open iPod Wizard. Now, you're going to plug in your iPod to your computer. Now you're going to want to make sure nothing else is u is being used for the iPod. So I'm going to close this Apple and iPod service. Up next, iPod Wizard should start off with the edit mode of updater. You're going to change that to firmware file. Now you're going to go to open firmware and you're going to want to open you're going to want to open the iPod touch modification. I'm sorry I did not do this yet. Let me just make a folder for this real quick. Okay, now you're going to click open firmware, go to where you saved that folder, and open the bin file that says 5 or 5.5 generation iPod touch dot bin. You're going to click open, wait for everything to finish scan and load. I'll just m no, I'm just going to make sure that this is the correct file. I know it is, but just to, mi just to make sure. Okay, all the symbols are here. Everything seems good. Now after this, you're going to click right to iPod. I'm not going to click on this because I already did the modification. And I don't want to mess up my iPod. After that, you're going to wait for everything to scan and load. Right about now, everything should be finished scanning and loading. Now you're going to now you're going to go to here, safely remove hard drive. You're going to right click and click safely remove hard drive. When it pops up, you're going to click stop for the USB mass storage device or iPod. Now you're going to click on Apple iPod USB device. Click OK. Now you're going to click close. Now you can disconnect it from the computer. Now it should re it should be rebooting and when it reboots it, it should look like this. Please note, you have to use the same generation your iPod is. If you try and put the 5.5 mod on the 5.0 um, 5.0 generation iPod, then you'll mess up your iPod and you'll have to restore everything. And vice versa. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. Enjoy!